All right. Hello there. I am Papa All One, and this is part two of the title match for the Absolute Division. Now, this is part two because the champion Shiro he lost his title just now to DD4 Blaze, who was the challenger. No, DD4 Blaze, as you know, as I explained in the previous video, DD4 Blaze wins this match. Then he does the new champion. But if Shiro wins, we go into a third and final match, which is the tiebreaker. And whoever wins that match will be the champion. So I would say, I'm not, because I didn't think, like, you know, like every new pay per view, the two will go and have like a few or something like that. Or like, you have to beat the champion. The champion has to win back to back matches or whatever like that. I was like, no. It'll take way too fucking long because sometimes they can just go back and forth forever. So you got to win two matches in the. You got to win best two out of three if you're the challenger and the champion just needs to win the match, period. So that way you give the champion a chance to try to win back his belt. So that's why we do it like that. Because there's a ranking system for a reason. And that way, come the next pay per view, somebody. Other, somebody else can possibly challenge for the title but if the no more contender wins then he gets to challenge as many times as possible and the only way to get above only way to go around the no one contender and challenge for the title if you can't beat him is the fight for gold championship that's the only way because they automatically get to challenge whatever champion they want to so as you already know the rules are still the same as you can see right here because we're doing a rematch and I just explained that in the last video Except to the hardest difficulty. I'm just making sure everything is the way it should be. And we can start. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
was the freaking PW division where it went to a third and final match. Yeah. That was the PW division between then champion Scott Thornton and the guy who took the championship back from him. Um, Chaos, who was the inaugural champion, lost it to him. Yeah, that's what I was alluded to where it could go to three matches and stuff. <laughs> fact that the champion doesn't necessarily have to win back-to-back -back matches I mean with the where the challenger doesn't necessarily have to win back-to-back -back matches he just have to win two out of the three if he wins the first match
Alright, congrats to DD4 Blaze, Dark Demon. He has won the Absolute Championship. And Shiro, man, he had a great long reign. And the thing is, he ain't going to work because he's the number one contender. And all he has to do is beat the, what's it, the Hunter. And he can get another title shot for his championship. That's all he has to do. And DD4 Blaze won this match using, I believe it's called the Super Shoulder Breaker. Yeah, I think that's what it's called, the Super Shoulder Breaker. So, congrats to him. Let's get this set up. I think I got, yeah, I got both of them from down here. No, I got one of them from, no, the E came from at the top. Or the second one, I mean, yeah. That's where the E came from. Um, nope, that's not the right one. Nope, that one, the all oh, the O, or why calling the O came from over here. And this right here is why I use as a, where is it at? This right here is why I use as a P, the pump O when it ever wins something. A title, I mean. Yeah, I'll use that P right there. So that looks cool. Uh, where is that? It's all the way down here somewhere. There we go. Right there. Alright. So that concludes the Absolute Divisions title match, but the newly crowned champion may be put it on the line because, and I'm not going to go into a matchup or nothing like that, because this guy, this guy right here is the FO3, damn it, I ain't, I ain't click on the belt, did I? Son of a... Like I was saying, this guy right here is the FO3 champion. He gets to decide what belt he wants to go after. And it could be any belt. I'm probably not going to put him in tag or PW because I just feel like those would be the ones he's least likely to win with because, you know, I'm not sure. Wait, does let me see something right quick. Yeah, I'm, this match is already done, but you already know I... Sometimes stay on to figure out stuff for people. Let me see something. Do we got somebody who comes out to the ring with him? Oh, wait. That's the wrong thing right here. Oh. Shit. Him and... No, but I believe he's... Is he still ranked? Let me see something right quick. Because his last match should have been... In the what division again? Damn it! I ain't. I can do that after I get done with everything. Yeah, gotta remember that. No, it was because he wasn't a champion, so his stuff would be right here. And let me see which one he was a part of first. Joy, joy, joy. Was he? Yep, fifth spot chance. And I believe he didn't win that, so for the PW division. Yep, Jumbo Saruta won that. Yeah, so, oh, they can. Hmm, that's something to think about. He could possibly do that with him. They could possibly go for the tag team titles. I mean, the, the longest reigning champions are no longer there, but I may do a singles match with him. I may do singles with him, yeah. So he's probably going to end up going for either the grappling, absolute, or MMA title. Because I don't like his chances with the, um, what's the name, with the um, KO championship. I do not like his chances. Because, look at this. He only got that one strike, that kick, 
Now these grapples doing KO damage and his finisher is not KO damage. This is not doing no KO damage at all. So yeah, I don't like his chances with that. As you can see, none of his moves are one move. Yeah, so definitely not put him in there. That will be just unfair as hell with him only having that chance of doing things. So, yeah. But I see him submit a bunch of people, but let's see how... I want to see how many grapples he have right quick. Then we go in this video. So, he has... Is this a grapple? Yep, that's one. That's two. But what the hell is this? Oh, those are knee strikes. Okay. Yeah, he got rear naked choke. They all got fucking rear naked choke. All of them. It's like... It don't matter. They all got it. And then this is what? Regular punching? No. You know what? Fuck! I hate to do it to my own character, but... It looks like... He's going to be going after the Absolute Championship. Yeah, he's going to have to go after the Absolute Championship. Sorry, DD4 Blaze. I just hope that God, <laughs> he does not lose. <laughs> like, yes, I'm picking favorites, man, because, like, damn. Because, <laughs> like, it seems unfair to let him go into the... He can possibly go to MMA division. I wouldn't mind him going into that, but, like, it seems like he's tailor-made for the absolute division and like I gotta figure and like that's it like I like his chances against both duty for blaze and the MMA champion which is this guy right here Kyochi I like his chances against both of them but huh like those kicks he keep on doing like the kick that he does well that kick doesn't get him in trouble unless he just keep on going for leg submissions. And where's his strikes? Let me see where his strikes are. That punch will get him in trouble. Alright, so his favorite punch is this one right here, though. Okay. That's his favorite punch. And now, does he got that body blow, though? Kiyoshi? Does Kiyoshi got that body blow? Because that may... It fools me putting him over here. No, you got that. All oh, these are kicks? Okay. Damn it. Which one? Which one? Any mini mighty mo. Which title should he go for? Fuck. Which one? I mean, one had a dominant title defense, the other one did it. I could decide like that, but then, again, I try to, because it's not only am I trying to, like, pick which champion, pick something that's, it's all about the the freaking fight for gold champion, in my opinion. You know, like, what championship he's most likely capable of winning? I say... Either one, but the cons and pros of it, okay. The cons of the Absolute Division match, that title match, will be that the fact that he doesn't have pinfalls. When he's with his opponents on the ground, he goes for ground and pound and either the arm bar when he got um full mount, or if he has back control, he goes for the rear naked choke. You know? Whereas his opponent, the champion, DD4 Blaze, after he does enough damage, he'll pin him and he can get the victory. That's not necessarily a handicap for him, but it's definitely something that he has over him. Now, the pros of that is that we don't know how DD4 Blaze is going to do against a shoot wrestler. You know, we don't know how he's going to do against a shoot wrestler. We know how, you know, what's the name, um, Kyoji can do against two wrestlers because that's the majority of who he beat to become the champion in the crowning tournament. So, you know, but Kyoji doesn't have knockdowns and he has a knockdown, you know? 
but I don't know which one to give him. And I wish there was a match that I could put both of them in and just see what, what whoever loses that match, he challenges them for their belt, but I can't do that. Uh, so, you know what? I'm going with my decision. He has a good chance of winning either one. And sorry, DD4 Blaze, but he's going after your belt. You're my, you're one of my created, my one of my creations. But man, hopefully you can retain your title. But it's automatically best two out of three. So whichever champ he goes for, even if you lose the first match to him, he gets a rematch versus some. That's the only thing that's good about the fight for gold championship. You win that battle royale, you get the challenge wherever champ you want to, but it's automatically best two out of three. You know, so there's automatically two matches that your opponent has to win or you have to win to become champion. So that's the only thing that's good about it. It's automatically best two out of three. So yeah, coming up next will be the title match with the with the absolute with the um fight for gold champion challenging the absolute champion and might as well challenge the absolute champion for one other reason that's the top belt you know it's the top belt so that's what I believe should happen and that's what's going to happen next and yeah the first match then the second match and the possible third match yeah so this has ended the absolute championship but it's not over just yet because the fight for gold champion is for the challenge the newly crowned absolute champion for his belt and he just beat Shiro you know how fucking dominant Shiro has been in the fucking absolute division as champion god damn it and the hat and to fucking beat him and then possibly get kicked out of the division oh god I feel like an asshole right now because DD4 loses this that he's out of the division after dethroning probably one of the top champions. You know? And back to back matches, no less. That was his back to back matches. And now he may not even be in the. But if he loses his. But if the champion loses his belt again, if the champion loses his belt, he will get to be part of the fact. The fight for gold championship he'll get to go into that and he's able to win that he can challenge whatever champion he wants to and I'm gonna make sure that if he if he loses he's challenging for that belt no questions asked I'm not even gonna put him in the motherfucking the fucking combatants I'm just gonna leave his ass inside like no man you're going to the fucking Fight for gold championship. Fuck that. You're, you're, you need to get back that title. No. Fuck them. Fuck becoming Cabana's champion. With three other fucking people. Fuck that shit. It was the absolute champion. You need that shit back. So that is this video. I know I've been ranting for no fucking reason. But. Damn. <sighs> oh well. Oh well, you just have to win. You just have to win. Alright, y'all have a good one. That's coming up next.